Is your hosting a website running slow? Do you have very slow page loads and you want to find out the absolute best way to improve your speed uh, for your website itself? If that's the case, guys, this video review will be ideal for you. I'm going to show you step by step some simple things that you can do right now to speed up your hosting or website. And the things that I'm going to show you today, they not only work for hosting, but they work for any web hosting provider online that you may be uh, using. I'm Wally with LearnerNet.com. And if you guys are totally new here to this channel, hit the subscribe button right below along with the bell. And that way, any future videos that I upload, you'll be sure to receive them. So um, having a fast loading website is extremely important. Why do we say that? Well, let's go directly to the source. Let's go directly to Google. If you look at thinkwithgoogle.com, there's a very interesting stat that they mention here, guys, where they say that the probability of bounce increases with 32% as page load time goes from one to three seconds. So what this is telling us is that Google has noticed and observed that websites that load under three seconds, three seconds or less, perform a lot better than those that don't. And so, you know, bounce rate is really when somebody lands on your website from Google. Let's say for right now, you guys are on Google and you're searching, you know, why is hosting or so slow? Why is my hosting or website so slow? Something like that or a variation, right? And you find like this, my, my website on the first page, you click on it. And for some odd reason, you bounce off, right? Um, so that sends a signal to Google that my website is not a good fit for that keyword that you typed in. And as a result, guys, what it's going to do is going to cause my search rankings to go down. And that's applicable with any website online itself. And so it's extremely, extremely important that you have a website that loads fast. Three seconds or less, the less, the better, the overall better experience that your visitors will have online. Notice another stat that I thought was very impressive. Also on Think with Google.com, it says here that a one second delay in mobile load times can impact, notice this, conversion rates by up to 20%. So think about what 20%, a uh, 20% loss in sales would mean for your business itself. Whatever it is that you sell or promote, whether it would represent a few hundred dollars or thousands of dollars, uh, again, you can see how important it is to uh, create a website online that loads fast. And so that's why I wanted to talk about this uh, today. Uh, you know, on my channel, I promoted Hostinger and I'll continue to promote Hostinger because I really love their web hosting services, not only because they're very inexpensive and they're really ideal for beginners online getting started with their very first site, but they also have amazing customer support. They have amazing uh, security in place and uh, they have really great uptime performance. All of these things I think are extremely important to look for with any web hosting provider out there. I mean, you could spend a lot of money like on a managed host or another web hosting provider out there and not have good page loads itself. And so there's some things that uh, could be caused by the web hosting provider and there's some things that could be caused by you. I wanted to talk about some things that could be caused by you and what is it that you can do to improve uh, and again, make your website load a lot faster, okay? And so I wanted to share a few things uh, with you guys that I wrote down that I have noticed when I first got started online with Hostinger and I just started adding content, adding images, adding plugins and all these things. And sometimes when you add this and add that, you, you may add it with one thing in mind, but you may not realize that it's actually hurting your website. Like WordPress plugins are great, uh, if you install the right ones and if you don't install too many of them. Uh, WordPress themes are great. If you install the right theme, if the WordPress theme is mobile friendly, if it's coded right. I mean, there's so many things that you may not think that it has a bearing on the overall performance or loading performance you know, of your website, but it actually does. Uh, it's very important to have caching in place. You need to have like a CDN in place as well, you know, hosting or has them. In fact, uh, on the H panel itself, when you log into it, if you click on manage right here, guys, this purple button, the very next page, you're going to be brought again to the, the H panel and you have more options where you'll be able to gain access to, you can actually create, you know, more sites with your dashboard itself. But if you scroll down to Cloudflare, you can actually add 
uh, Cloudflare, you know, to your site itself. It'll automatically integrate everything for you with all of the settings and configurations, and you don't have to worry about that. And so it's really, really easy to add and enable like on the back end right here. You can just grab it by clicking on this buy now. And again, once you do that, it's going to automatically configure and add the CDN, you know, to your website. And once you buy it, uh, the $9.95 itself, it's forever. This is not like a monthly or yearly thing. You buy it and you're done. And I think it's an absolute must have thing, you know, for it. Of course, you can go directly to Cloudflare and you can set it up directly with them. But then you have to figure out how to configure it. And if you don't know how to configure the, um, the CDN itself, then you might mess it up and it might not work properly. And so I just recommend just getting it directly from the back end right here where you can purchase it for the $9.95. And uh, it's also an option like when you get set up, you know, initially with your account where you can add it, you know, right there. But if you didn't do that and you want to do it right now, this is how you will go about uh, doing it. So I highly, highly recommend that you, um, you know, install or have a CDN on your website because it's going to help not only to fight um, like brood attacks, DDoS attacks, things of that nature, but it also promotes super fast page loads um, and provides those endpoints that no matter where your visitor is coming from, whether it's here in the U.S., Europe, Asia, Africa, wherever it is, uh, it's going to serve and deliver your content a lot faster. Another thing that could contribute to a, uh, a slow loading website is when you have too many images, big images like on your site, you know, obviously we need images when we write a post. In fact, this video where I'm going to embed it on the LearnerNet site itself, uh, just again, it's going to have images, you know, there. But with any post or article that you have on your website, you want to make sure that the images are not too large. If they're too large, the larger they are, they take up, you know, more space and it can cause your page to load really, really slow. And so uh, one way that you can get around that is by installing a, a simple plugin. There's several out there to help to compress or zip, you know, files, compress images. One that's really good is called a uh, smush. Um, you can get to it, you know, really easy by, you know, going to your, um, your dashboard itself. And when you click on your dashboard and you go to plugins, you can add new plugins. And once you get to the search bar itself, what you can do is plug in the actual word like reduce um, images or you can like zip images. And let me do that right now just to show you guys, you know, how that works. I'm going to click on plugins and I'm going to go to add new just to show you how this really works. And of course, you know, if you want to install a really good cache uh, plugin, you can type in that very word in the search bar, the C-A-C-H-E. And again, you'll see different ones that are there. But if you type in the word reduce images or compress images, a keyword like that, you'll get different uh, plugins that pop up. There's Imageify that has over 600,000 installations. This is the one that I'm talking about. I have this one installed on my site. And it helps to, again, load the, the actual images um, and compress the images. That way they don't uh, take up you know, too much space as well. So that could be one, you know, issue that you can definitely check out if you do not have a plugin already installed on your site that compresses, you know, images, then you definitely want to install one. You can try the Smush um, plugin itself. As you guys can see, it has five stars, over a million installations. So obviously it's a good plugin. Or you can try this one here or another one. Um, the ideal is to have at least one. And so again, you can do that. Um, another thing that could be causing the issue, guys, is probably um, if you have like too many ads or banners, you know, on your website, uh, that could be slowing it down as well. So you may want to check that. Uh, you notice like on my site, uh, if you're on like individual pages or posts, you may see like banners like on the right side on it. And so I've made some adjustments, you know, with that, you know, but if you have too many banners or too many ads, uh, you know, on your site or where it's positioned at. Uh, that could also slow your website down. So there are a lot of things that could, you know, contribute to that. Maybe um, excessive HTTP requests. Uh, it could be like a JavaScript issue. I mean, I could go really on and on about the different issues that 
uh, could, you know, be causing, you know, this uh, problem. And so, again, it could be that some people say, hey, the web host itself is the problem itself. But is that really the case? Is it something that you're doing, you know, with the uh, with your website itself? Do you have too many plugins installed, you know, on your site? Uh, is there a faulty plugin you're on your site itself that's causing your website to, to run slow? It could be something that you yourself have done uh, to, you know, affect the overall speed, you know, of your site. So I just wanted you guys to think about that. Um, you know, obviously you want to check your page speed itself. There are a lot of ways that you can go about doing that. One good way is to hop over to GT Metrics. If you come to GT Metrics, you can plug in your domain name, and I've done that here. And you can see that this is my overall score. I have an A with the WordPress theme that I'm using. I'm using Astra theme. Sometimes I'll switch them out and try different themes just to get like a different look. But um, the Astra theme is a really clean, nice, nicely coded, you know, theme itself. And as you guys can see, I have a 99% performance, 98% structure, and it loads under one second. So, you know, you remember what we saw here, guys, that with uh, Think with Google, they mentioned that if a website loads from one to three seconds, it increases the bounce rate up to 32 percent um, and up to 20 percent in conversions rates that it, that it actually affects. And so I just wanted to highlight that. Why is it that is extremely important that you guys, you know, check the speed, you know, of your website. Now, the cool thing about this is that you can see what things you need to improve. Like if you look on the performance, uh, GT Metrics will tell you how your website is performing. If there's some things that you need to change, you can do it right here and actually tell you what it is that you need to change. Everything is in green. I worked really, really hard to get these green scores. Uh, but if yours is yellow or red, then you just want to follow one by one. What is it that GT Metrics is telling you to do? To fix it okay another place that you can go to is page speed insights so if you go here again you can do the same deal as we mentioned um, a huge percent of people online that surf use mobile so you want to test your website both in mobile and i plugged in mine and i have a 98 uh, score you know for performance itself and you can see obviously the results that are right here according to Google's, you know, page uh, speed insights right here. And then you can look on mobile. And if it's something that you need to improve there, again, it'll give you suggestions of things that you can do, guys. So what I wanted to do in this uh, video review is to share with you guys some basic things that you can do right now to not only uh, fix, you know, some issues that you have, but also to, to help you to speed up or improve your overall page loads, you know, on your website. Uh, it's very, very important that you take action because if you don't, obviously it's going to affect the overall uh, SEO rankings, you know, of your website itself. And so what do you guys think about this uh, video? I know it was short, quick, and to the point. I wanted to highlight some things that I have done and what's helped me to improve, you know, my uh, website performance, you know, over time. And so uh, what you want to do again is just little by little use GT Metrics. Uh, you don't even have to set up an account with them. They have a free version. They also have a pro version. Please, if you make a change, you know, on your website itself, just to come back to GT Metrics and see what your overall score is. Uh, it could be a plugin that's affecting your speed. It could be your theme itself. If you switched it up, it could be something that you yourself are doing that's affecting your overall page loads, you know, for your website itself. And so what do you guys think about this uh, video that we did today? Let me know your thoughts right below. Let me know if you found value with this video. If so, go ahead and smash the like button. Also, subscribe to this channel, and I'll catch you guys on the next video. Thanks for watching.